Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Erica. I make videos all about bags. So if you clicked on this video, I'm assuming you're a bag fanatic just like myself and I would love to have you as part of this handbag fan. So do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to my channel and you can come here once a week on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time and get your bag fixed. But without further ado guys, let's get into the video but most importantly, let's get into the bags. Hello guys, so welcome back to another Portland Leather Goods video. Last week I did a surprise unboxing of my mini crossbody tote in the cognac color. You guys were so receptive, the comments were great. I love having these conversations with you guys. And a lot of you had kind of requested a comparison video between the two bags. I thought that was such a good idea just to help any of you, you know, that may have questions regarding what they fit, uh, just differences between the bags in general. So I am happy to oblige and I am creating this video in hopes hopes that it helps some of you in terms of choosing which bag or you can just do my method and purchase both of them. I have structured this video into just different segments. We're going to talk about dimensions first, then we're going to go into just sort of the overall structures of the bag, how they are the same and how they differ. Um, I will also do a kind of what fits inside, not necessarily a what's in my bag. I don't want to take you through everything, just to kind of give you a size comparison of different things that could fit in both. And then I will also go into the material because I did have some questions regarding the differences in material. I had mentioned that the feel of this bag is a little different than this one and I actually contacted Portland Leather Goods uh, to figure out why. So stay tuned until the end and I will let you know what they said. Okay guys, let's get into the dimensions first. I feel like that's obviously uh, just the most uh, basic difference between the two. We'll start with the crossbody tote. So this one has a top length of 14 inches. It narrows down to the bottom with a length of 11 inches. It sits at 13 inches high and its width is five inches. Then you have the mini crossbody tote, which is 13 inches in length and it narrows to the bottom that has a base of nine inches in length. It stands nine inches tall and has a width of four and a half inches. And then another question I had a lot was the crossbody strap of both because they obviously both have that detachable crossbody strap. So this one, the crossbody tote, at its shortest is 43 and a half inches, and then at its longest, it is 47 and a half inches. And then you have the mini crossbody tote, and at its shortest, its crossbody strap is 38 inches, and at its longest, it is 45 and a half inches. Now, another major difference between the two, and I'll get more of that in terms of when I model these for you guys. I am 5'5 for size, so I will make sure to put these uh, bags on my body so you guys can just get an idea of where they sit on me. And just so you know, I keep both straps at their shortest lengths. Uh, so again, just to give you an idea of what those bags look like on. But this one has a shoulder drop strap where you're able to kind of put this on your shoulder and carry it that way should you not want to use the crossbody strap. Whereas this one, um, I can hardly call it a shoulder strap. It's more of like a wrist strap and at most it goes onto the crook of my arm and that's pretty much it. So there is a definite difference between those bags. Um, and one, you know, you may want that shoulder drop and for others, it just may not matter. But again, a difference in style for sure. into talking about just the overall structure comparisons and differences because these bags do differ a little bit. So we both, uh, on both bags, we have the uh, front outside pocket that neither has a button nor magnetic closure. They just kind of stay open and you can just kind of put those things that you need on the go right away. Maybe a cell phone, maybe hand sanitizer, or you know, whatever that item may be. Um, that's great for that. Um, and then you have the main compartment on the inside, but this is how they really differ. So I will get up to the camera and show you. The crossbody tote has this inside pocket that is connected to the bag via rivets. It doesn't have any sort of closure. It's just sort of open, whereas the mini crossbody tote does not have that pocket, but 
the mini crossbody tote does have a button closure or like a little snap closure. Now, uh, with this one, it is nice to have that little compartment, uh, maybe for headphones, a card wallet, maybe more sanitizer, whatever that may be that you just kind of don't want to go digging for it. It's right there. You can kind of grab it. Um, I think any bag with pockets is always kind of nice. It's nice just to have that separation uh, and organization, whereas this one doesn't have that compartment. However, I will say this for this one. I do really like that button closure. I know it's not a lot of security for the bag, but you know what? I just feel like if you especially organize your bags maybe in just different pouches or you have a larger wallet, um, that's how I organize my bags personally. Um, I like to keep things organized in different pouches. And when I throw those pouches in here, um, I feel like if I snap that shut, there's a less likely chance of if this bag tips and that button is snapped, those pouches are not gonna fall out. Now I would say that if I kind of had just loose ends and bits and bobs in there, I would fear things falling out of the sides, whether that be buttoned or not. Um, but I think that if you are a traveler or a commuter, this might be better just in terms of its a little added security. However, I've carried this bag uh, to work, kind of carry it all over the place with me, and I have yet to have anything fall out. Um, but you know what, different strokes for different folks, and for some people, they might want that button closure. I actually did have a conversation with Portland Leather Goods regarding a zipper for the crossbody uh, totes and they said a zipper option is not available yet. Now I take that yet to mean that one might be coming. I don't want to assume that. I'm not telling you that that's going to happen, but I am hoping that one is in the works and maybe in the future we can pick up the crossbody tote with the zippered option. So there is that possibly to come. Next guys, I want to talk about what fits inside the bags. Um, I, I think just a better way of going about this is to just roll the tape and show Show you kind of just different things that I fit inside my bag so let's just get into it now okay everyone here's a brief look at what each bag can hold let's start with the mini obviously the bag will not hold the laptop but if you're looking to downsize but not sacrifice everything you carry this is the perfect bag for you because as you can see I still got a lot of my items in here Now as for the crossbody tote, that is a 13 inch laptop in a sleeve that fits in perfectly along with my other items. But because the laptop is in there, it does look really full. I don't always tote around my laptop, but I wanted to make sure that you knew it could hold up to a 13 inch laptop if need be. Okay, lastly guys, I wanted to talk about the fabric. Um, a lot of you had questions after I had said that the fabric just feels different. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier. This is in the Merlot color and then this is in the Cognac color. And I thought the question was really good. Why are they different? I've mentioned before in my videos that this kind of has like a velvety suede feel. And then this one has that leather, smooth leather feel that I think we're all used to when we go to the store and we pick up leather bags. And I just didn't know what the difference was. Uh, so when all of you were kind of prompting that question, I thought it was super good. I am not the expert. So I went to the experts at Portland Leather Goods and I actually emailed them my question and they were very, very nice enough to email back. It took like less than 24 hours to get a response, which I've talked about so much. I love their customer service. I think they're just such an easy company to deal with if you have any questions, but, um, they actually said that the leather between the two is the same. It's all full green leather. It's going to wear the same. It's going to endure the same. Um, and that they're both made for a lifetime. The difference becomes the color. Just in how the dyes work, the Merlot, the green, and then there's a very deep blue. Not the blue belt. I haven't seen this particular blue on the website except for some example pictures, but that all going to be that similar sort of velvety suede feel and then the popular colors like cognac honey i've seen the papaya color the sunflower color even the bluebell color all in this like rugged leather that stylistically we're so used to and again guys so it, it's just the, the colors, it's the dyes, um, that is the difference between the two. Uh, but rest assured that the leather is going to wear the same and you're not getting a different kind of leather, whichever color that you get. So something to think about 
I love both of these colors. I love both of the feels. They're just different. Um, I love the cognac. I think it's just a classic color. I think it's very rich. It's very like, uh, it's just a beautiful chocolate color. I love it. Um, I think it goes with so much of my wardrobe. Whereas the Merlot goes with all of my wardrobe. But what I love about the Merlot is that I think it is so different. I've seen a lot of like, you know, the russet or like honey colored bags, which I'm not downing. They're absolutely gorgeous. I'm probably going to pick one up in one of those colors. Um, but the Merlot was just something I had never seen before and I just really loved it for that reason plus I'm a wine drinker guys prefer the reds Merlot is one of my favorite beverages so I just thought why not carry something after my favorite adult beverage if I do say so myself but that was my logic doesn't have to be yours but I just really loved it because it is so unique it is so different but anyway guys I really hope this video helped you out in determining which Portland leather goods bag is best for you I really just love both of these totes for just very different reasons um, and they're just they're stunning I just don't think you can go wrong no matter which one you end up buying I would love to know which Portland leather goods bags you are picking up which colors you're loving I'm really trying to convince myself I don't need all of them um, but I think I'm going to lose that battle. Anyway, guys, remember, life is short. Buy the bag. I'll see you in the next one.